The truth is finally here. Hi everybody, Marty from Top Gun PDR Training here with another tips, tricks, and tools. Well today, we're going to show you how to make your own adjustable handle tools. You can put these on whale tails, on door tools, just about anything you would imagine. Uh, this is my version of this tool. I came up with this idea about October of 2001, I believe. Uh, since then, a lot of different people have uh, come up with uh, different styles, but pretty much uses the same handle that we're going to show you where to get, or the same manufacturer of the handle. Uh, one of the differences in mine and everybody else's is I really do like this rubber handle. Basically what it is is a Schwinn bicycle grip. Uh, it's a little bit longer than most grips, give you a little better leverage. But what I really like about this rubber is, especially on a hot summer day, uh, the more you sweat, the tighter your hand grips it. It's fantastic. You never ever slip off this tool like you do with most other people's tools. The other thing I like, this rubber is really, really soft. And I'll tell you, by the end of the day, when you're using twist tools most of the day, you'll notice a difference in your wrist. It's not going to be anywhere near as tired as it was before this. I, I get about, I'd say, 25% less pain <laughs> at the end of the day using rubber than the standard uh, plastic dip that you see most of these guys use on their rubber on their adjustable handle tools so i do like this better anyway we're going to take you by a step-by-step -step process of how to make these it's not that complicated at all you do need some basic uh, skills you do need to know how to weld or somebody that knows how to weld uh, a little bit of knowledge of files and uh, just some basic tools like a grinder a hammer and uh, you're good to go so let's get started Okay, the first thing you're going to need is to buy one of these handles from McMaster and Carr. I'll have the part number up there and it'll be at the bottom of the video. Uh, one of these per handle. Uh, you'll take the little plastic ball that comes with it. You don't need it. You'll also need a Schwinn bicycle grip. We already talked about these. Those are about, uh, I think, about four dollars or so. You can get the cheap Chinese ones that uh, about a buck, but they don't work nearly as well as these. You'll also need some 7 8 inch diameter thin walled tubing. Don't get the thick walled stuff. It's totally unnecessary. The thin walled actually works better. I think it's 060 diameter or 060 th wall thickness. So 7 8 diameter thin walled tubing. Okay, the next step is to take your thin walled tubing and you want it to match the head profile fairly easily on that. You could weld it just like that. It wouldn't be a problem. What I like doing, however, is pinching this pipe in a vise to about that thickness right there. So that's it before I, that's it before I pinch. That's it after the pinch. So you can just do that with a hammer or a vise. Just pinch that tubing. So now when my handle is in it, it makes a much thinner profile. It looks a little bit neater and cleaner when it's done. Instead of sticking out from the handle like that, that just looks kind of ugly to me. <laughs> so this works. Okay, now to make this, you simply put it Get yourself a half round file. You can get these anywhere. I like Nicholson files myself, but you can get these at Home Depot or anywhere. So not flat. You want a half round file. And you're simply going to go until you get a nice round surface on it. Like that. Matches it very well. And we're ready to weld. Okay, this next step you can avoid if you want to. Um, I wouldn't. It's a little bit of a safety precaution. We're going to take the head mechanism out of this before we weld. Uh, that way there's no possibility to even mess with the spring. Uh, you don't have to do this, but it, these things come out ridiculously easy, so there's no reason not to. Okay, this is the housing. It's the back of the housing. This side is where the gears go through. So we're going to show you how this thing would assemble. You simply take that spring, that's the gear head, and that's your friction ring. You take the spring, put it into the head, pick up the head, and put it into the gear. And then you take your friction ring, put it on top of that, and hit it with a hammer not very complicated. Okay, I just want to point this out again. This outside ring, that's your friction ring. That is your gear housing. Okay, that's your friction ring. That's your gear housing. Put 
a 5 16 18 bolt through it. Put it in a vise and hit that out and the ring will come out. And this is how you place the tool inside the vise. The gear housing can drop right through. Okay, here we go. You see it came out. And that is the friction ring right there. So gear housing, spring, friction ring. We're going to leave this part in here. You could take this out, but you don't need to. We're going to leave that right connected to this. Now we're going to take our handle, put it in there, and we're going to weld, and we'll be done. Okay, just a quick look at how I would set up to weld something like this. Got a welding table, and I'm just using a plain old clamp to uh, put pressure against the handle and the head. That rag is just to keep any slag from falling into the gear. And I'm using a welding table, but you don't have to. You could just use a plain old cinder block. Work just fine. And this is the setup I'm using to weld the whale tail end to the 1 inch long 5 16 to 18 grade 8 bolt. Put a few nuts on the end to keep the bolt nice and level on a washer to keep the uh, rod level. We did chamfer the end there so we get better penetration. Everything's looking nice and straight and ready to weld. Okay, here's our oil tail and our handle after welding, and we are ready to assemble. Okay, now it's time to assemble our handle. We're going to take our gear, put it through the gear side of the handle. Put our spring in and our friction ring on. Push it as hard as you can with the thumb and then give it a couple whacks with a hammer. And we're ready to go to the vise. All right, you've noticed we put some hot glue on the end of that handle. It's kind of an important thing to do because we're going to force that rubber bicycle grip onto that steel shaft and it works a lot better if we put our finger over that hole to force it down. That creates an air pocket and it goes on a lot easier because it's a pretty tight fit. It won't work well unless we do that. We're going to put some goof off into there that helps to uh, lubricate it and helps it to stick to the bicycle handle a little better. Going to circulate it around there a little bit, make sure it gets the inside of the handle nice and wet. And we're going to take the excess and put it on the handle. And then we are going to put it on the edge and we're going to force it on in one movement. The heel of my hand is on that hole in the rubber so it creates a nice seal. And that creates a nice air pocket. And there you go. Very easy. Okay guys, the final step is to take our handle and join it to our whale tail. You simply screw it into the gear side. And put it in a vise real fast just to make sure that we got just a amount of torque on it. Then we take a grade 8 nut, put it on the end. With a threaded rod. Tight it. And we're done. We have an adjustable handle oil tail. Well, some of you may wonder why I always use Blem tools for making my adjustable handle tools and uh, for putting S bends on and, and other applications. Uh, I just like the way Blem designs theirs. They have the perfect balance between drivability and flexibility. I don't think any other whale tail, um, I know no other whale tail can match what they can do. He goes through a few extra steps to make his tools and it does show in the finished product. Um, I've had most, I've had his stuff for, I've had 22 year whale tails here just as stiff as the day I got them. 
and uh, they just lend themselves beautifully to this type of application. I love the way he has uh, brown stock on the end. Perfect to weld to a grade 8 bolt, much easier than the flat stock on most whale tails. You can still weld flat stock to the bolts, but this just makes it easier. Uh, my opinion, the perfect whale tail to uh, make an adjustable handle whale tail out of. Hope you end up making quite a few of these and uh, enjoy them. Hope they make you lots of money.